All right, guys, welcome back to Life Elevated Trailers YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Another exciting day here at Life Elevated Trailers. We got a 2024 free ride. This is the 28 foot free ride. That's 28 feet in the box, eight feet in the gooseneck, makes it 36 feet overall. And there are some exciting new changes coming for 2024. The first one, if you know these trailers well, you can tell I'm standing on the passenger side right now. So we've added a passenger side entry door, passenger side awning, passenger side propane tee, and allows you to take this to um, your standard campground and be set up to where you're using the passenger side of this trailer to hang out so you're not facing your neighbors. Um, let's dive right in. For 2024 new, lighted grab handle here by the man door. Um, all your same stuff going in, but they did switch to a rotary latch on the door, which makes it close much nicer and um, just a, a more quality feel to it. If you come inside here, We'll go over a few changes inside the trailer that they made for 20. All right, welcome inside the 2024. So you'll notice a little bit different layout just with the man door here. We still kept the man door on the driver's side, giving you tons of access. We did have to move the bunks back a hair to make sure that we could fit this door. Um, big change for 2024. And one of the things I really like because it allows you to use this thing year round is this second furnace package. So this is the second furnace with track melt. So what that does is it adds a second furnace that's piped down into the floor and then you have heat coming out the floor, distributes it really nice and evenly all the way to the back of the trailer. And it allowed us to put a furnace thermostat in the back of the trailer so that the heat from this second furnace has to get all the way to the back here to keep the, the temperature kind of evened out in here. On the electronics, moving forward here, they've changed um, the inverter to a 2000 watt inverter that is wired into the microwave now. So when I turn on the inverter, not plugged into shore power, generator not running, my microwave will come on and it will run off my batteries on the front. So really nice change, allows you to use all your 110 power, including your refri or your microwave when you're not plugged into shore power. Um, I'm gonna turn this off so we don't forget. And then the fuses, on the front are also way more intuitive. They changed a lot of where they pulled a bunch of fuses out of the gooseneck, moved them into really nice fuse panels up here in the goose. Um, an option for 2024 that we're gonna add to all of our stock trailers is the shower dome. A lot of good light in here, gives you a little extra height for guys who are over six foot two. It's important to be able to stand up in the shower clean. That allows you to be about six five and still stand up perfectly in the shower. Moving out the man door on the driver's side, you still get another light up handle over here coming in. And then one thing that we didn't like here um, was this used to be a plastic door that locked your raise and lower. Now you've got a lockable door handle on your raise and lower so you can lock people out of this and you can turn off the raise and lower on your trailer so that people can't um, get in and, and steal it. So 2024, you've got door on the passenger side passenger side layout with the awning on the passenger side, rotary latch handles, dual furnaces with track mount, shower dome is an option, new door here. Um, just a lot of the stuff that people were asking us for, we did. And I think that this is going to make this trailer much more usable earlier and later into the year, and then allow you to go to campgrounds and camp more comfortably where you can be on the passenger side. So you're not in your neighbor's front yard as you're camping. Okay, now that we've talked about what's new, if you're really familiar with these, you don't really have to watch the rest of the video. We're trying to make these to where you can just get the information you need and get out. Um, but if you've never seen one, you want to see front to back, let's go. Like I said, 28 feet in the box to here, 8 feet in the gooseneck, 36 feet overall. Um, we'll go over the measurements inside when I get inside. Nice sliding screen gooseneck windows up in the gooseneck. On top of this trailer, we've got solar panels. Come over here underneath the front. Come standard with two six volt batteries wired in series, so they're 12 volts. And like I said earlier, they simplified the fuses. You've just got three big fuses and one little 30 amp out here, and then a few resettable ones for your rate, your raisin lower, and your inverter. Seven and a half gallon propane tanks to run those furnaces, um, full size spare tire, and then onboard fuel system. This trailer has dual 30 gallon tanks that are selectable right here on a super simple mechanical T, no need to overcomplicate stuff. And then an electronic fuel pump that'll show you how much gas is in your tanks. Really nice feature, allows you to take everything you need with you in the trailer. Moving back this way, got again, you're raising lower there in a metal door. This is your fridge access panel. 
And for 2024, another thing they did is they moved the awning. If you do an awning on the driver's side, they moved that awning arm to right here so that you can open and close this door without interfering with your awning. Um, really nice little thing. Light up grab handle coming in. And on the free rides, one of my favorite features are these sliding screen doors. Allows you to keep your doors open, but keep your bugs out. Really nice feature, really clean. Coming inside, power shut off. You wanna kill all your 12 volt power, bang done that will not kill the furnaces though because if you shut the furnaces off while they're running full bore they'll melt internally and damage themselves so they're not wired into that you got to turn them off on the thermostats um, coming inside you've got a two burner cooktop right here microwave wired into your inverter fridge freezer combo water heater water pump all your levels right here to manage the trailer all of your lights are labeled so you know what's going on when you hit your switches. Um, your inverter control panel, 110 outlets throughout. Your front furnace, which is in here, has a thermostat right here on the wall. More switches that are labeled to let you know what they do. And then more switches over here for your lights up in the gooseneck. Night light, super nice option at night when you just want to have a little bit of light to see what you're doing but not wake up everybody in the trailer. Um, Stereo with a kicker subwoofer in here. We've got the shower dome. Like I said, um, let's look inside this bathroom real quick. It's got magnetic door and a lock so that you can shut that thing. It's not going to come open while you're going down the road. It's a really nice but really simple bathroom. Wet bathroom, you got your shower, toilet, dome light here, light inside, and an exhaust fan right over the door so that you can suck those fumes out. Um, moving back, this one has the optional TV. The shower dome is optional. It's something you need to tell your dealer if you want to add it. Um, and then you've got your uh, just storage rack here. We can add a rollover sofa right here if you want as an option. Um, this is that second furnace overhead that goes into your floor track melt. 36 inch storage cabinet. A 48 inch will fit right here so we can upgrade you to that if you want. Um, let me just show you this table. Everything in this trailer is purpose built and it goes down and it comes up super easy. So let's say I'm going out and I want to set this thing up and I'm used to the standard toy hauler that's a three hour process of legs and arms and all this stuff. Let's try not to curse on these videos that you have to lay down. So watch this. Pull out, it comes down just like this. Hit your thing here, grab your bench, pull out, there's your bench down. Grab your other bench, click it. Down she comes. Table set up. Okay, you know what? I want to get the bunks down. Bunks are down. Other side, let's go. Just do the whole thing. Show you the whole setup here. We're camping. Okay? That's how long it takes after you get to the campground to have all your beds down, your table down, and the trailer set up. If I had the rollover sofa, I'd show you that takes about two seconds to put it down. The reason I like that is when I'm done camping and I gotta get back to the house and I'm tired and I wanna get cleaned up, I just lift this puppy up and all these beds just drop right back into place. No drama to it. So 10 minutes, down, up, and I'm on the road. Um, I already went over the thermostat back here. This has dual air conditioners, 13,500 BTUs a piece. Cool this puppy down nice when you're out in that hot sun. Um, USB charge ports over the beds so that you can charge your devices. When we go on the outside, I'll show you some of the exterior stuff. Um, this one has an onboard gen. So let's go back up to the front. So this trailer will completely run itself just based off the generator. The generator pulls out of the front fuel tank so you don't have to bring extra gas or have dedicated gas for the generator. Push and hold your stop button, hit your start button. You got an Onan 5500 quiet generator on the roof. You almost, you can barely hear it when you have your air conditioners running. It's awesome. Um, you fit a queen size bed up in here. Charles West gives you this custom mattress. We usually swap it for a thicker queen. Um, you've got your sink there. I mean, on and on and on. Let's go over a few of the measurements. You are 24 feet, three inches, right here to this cooktop. Um, you're 71 and a half inches from the shower to the door here. And then you are 21 feet, six inches to this front wall right here. So 
you can load a four seat razor and a two seat razor in this thing as long as the two seat razor is not over 72 inches wide. Two two seaters will go in no problem. Dirt bikes, kayaks, everything, snowmobiles, whatever you want to load in here, you can fit a bunch. Five snowmobiles fits pretty easy. About a million dirt bikes. I mean, you can we can put in Moto Pros and just line them down the walls. Um, anyhow, that's the inside of one of these. There's some high power vents. There's some, you know, the 36 inch LED lights. And on the layout, there's a lot of different things we can do here at Life Elevated Trailers to help you out to maximize your space in here. Like one of the things I really like is we'll ship this trailer with this top bunk loose and we'll just have it on the floor. And you can decide, do I want the top bunk or do I want to utilize this entire wall for overhead cabinets and all of those things. And then put a rollover sofa up here to still give you the extra sleeping area. So when you want to get one of these, the thing that I really like about the way we do things here is that we're going to think through that process with you and we're going to make sure that every dollar you spend on a trailer at Life Elevated Trailers is a dollar well used. And we're not working backward to try to make your trailer fit what you want, but we've actually thought about it before it came and we have a bunch of different storage options, a bunch of different solar options, a bunch of different battery options, thermostat options, all these different things that we've just thought through and upgraded that no other dealer is going to give you or know about to really maximize your dollar and maximize your experience when you're out in a free ride. All right, so let's talk about the exterior. We're doing it a little backward, but here we go. We went over the whole interior. I'm standing underneath this awning right now. This is an 18 foot power awning. The reason it's 18 feet is because the exhaust port for the heater is right on the other side of that. So if you put the heater port under the awning, you could have a chance of burning it. So that's why we did that. Um, we do have a propane tee right out the front right there. And there is a cap on the other side. If you want to add another quick release propane, propane for the driver's side, that's a really easy addition to make. Um, in these walls, this is the silver trailer, silver in color. So um, what this does is you've got 16 inch on center construction behind this wall. You have 040 aluminum um, here and Charles West paints their trailers in house. So instead of getting a half mil of paint on a pre-rolled aluminum sheet, you get three mils of paint on this trailer, giving it six times the amount of paint, which makes these trailers hold up awesome um, over time compared to your standard trailer. You've got stabilizer legs here at the back and then your rear ramp turns into a um, rear porch. Now inside these walls, You've got one inch high density poly board um, that gives you an R value of seven or eight. And then in the ceiling, you've got 24 inch on center spacing, but you have inch and a half tubes every 24 inches, an inch and a half de high density poly board in the ceiling, giving you an R value between 10 and 12. So very well insulated trailer. And then we also spray foamed the under of this, the underside of this trailer is an option. And that gives you a, an extra bit of insulation to keep the trailer warm and sealed. Um, on this rear porch, obviously keeps you out of the dirt. You've got a really nice screen door here at the back to allow you to screen in the trailer and leave everything open and not deal with it. Now, underneath this trailer, we put 6,000 pound axles. In a gooseneck, that allows you to rate it to 15,250 pounds gross. The trailer itself weighs about 8,000 pounds. So you've got over 7,000 pounds of cargo that you can haul safely inside of this trailer. When you go up to the big brother of this, which is the 34 footer, that gives you, those weigh about 9,000 pounds. So do some math, it's about 6,000 pounds, a little over 6,000 pounds that you can haul inside that trailer safely. So tons of cargo capacity weight. Two side-by-sides is not even touching that. You're driving down the road with zero actual stress on this trailer. Um, and here at Life Elevated Trailers, I touched on it earlier, but we're enthusiasts. So anything that you wanna do with this trailer, we can do. There's a video drop in here shortly that's gonna show you one that is decked out for full winter use with 12 volt air conditioners and crazy batteries and solar. Um, so look for that one here on our channel as well. But thank you for tuning in. If you need one of these free rides, if this thing's for you, give us a call and we'll hook you up. Thanks for watching.